are headed to Alaska. We decided to take up the off-grid challenge, challenge our family to see if we could spend an entire summer living way remote in an off-grid cabin in Alaska. Enjoy the experience and make it the entire summer. We made it to our destination. I've never seen the cabin before. Definitely am nervous. Yeah, first impressions, the cabin's a little bit rough. Definitely some nervousness, definitely some like, oof. This is off grid for real. <laughs> Very small, surprisingly small. Okay, this is, right now it's pretty awful. How are we gonna do this? How are we gonna not hate this? I don't like the way it looks. It's ugly. Rain and low clouds, only 52 degrees. This area has already picked up about an inch of rainfall. Very, very rainy day. Somebody told us summers in Alaska were gorgeous. I don't think Alaska got the memo this year. The roof is dripping. Today. Half an inch of rain today. Which it means... rained yesterday. We can't get out. The road is mud. So today was the closest we've come yet, I think, to uh, tapping out. <laughs> and I was like, can't do this anymore. What What is your biggest fear about going to Alaska off-grid? Running out of water scare you. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have anything you're afraid of? Bears. Bears? Look at the size of that track. One, two, three, four, five big claws. Bears. Bears? Probably bears. Oh yeah. That's a grizzly. I always worry about emergencies. Uh, it's kind of why I'm, I lean towards being into the preparedness and prepper, prepper kind of mindset. Right, yep. the grid, I even work in the electrical industry. <laughs> if it goes down, there's nothing a single person can do about it. Don't even try. It's not that I want to demonize any particular piece, but rather I want people to consider if I'm using a machine to accomplish this task, what is it at robbing my life of in the process. Laundry in a pot. Oh. And then see see how we do washing by hand. Priority one for me to set up today. Place to poop in a bucket. <laughs> like an Herbal Essence commercial. It is a really hard, hard cabin and hard. There are hard, lots of hard days right now. I think we've fancied ourselves. We're homesteaders. We're homesteaders. We're, rugged, we're, we're hard workers. Laura Ingalls Wilder. Your Pa Ingalls, right? <laughs> we hunt, we fish, we butcher our own animals, we raise our own meat. We are not as tough <laughs> as we thought we were. This, oh, this is not gonna be for YouTube. <laughs> oh no? No, this is about us quitting a weekend on this thing. <laughs> I mean, all right. Are you running from something that you're afraid of or want to avoid, or are you running towards something that you desire? And so often it's people that they don't really desire what's here. They desire some mythical ideal related to it, but that's not what's actually here. We're thinking like, if, I, if I'm not, if I don't have electricity, my life will be more peaceful. If I don't have water plumbed in my cabin, I'm gonna have a better life. If I don't have laundry in my cabin, I'm gonna have a better life. This is all, all things I thought. And I don't think that's true anymore. 